Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. You know, part of owning a computer and using the internet is fun and exploring the internet. There's many things to see and learn, and by doing some exploring, you can find some really neat things. Today I'm gonna to show you some Google tricks. These are just simple little things that have been around in Google for a while, and they're always adding different fun things for us to do, just to play around, basically. Okay, we're at the google.com website, and this is where most of these tricks are gonna take place. The first one I wanna show you is Tilt. If you type in T-I-L-T, -T, you can see the screen uh, tilts. Now this next one, I'm gonna type in Google Gravity. And you have to use this I'm feeling lucky button on this one. The next few I'm going to show you, you have to use the feeling lucky button. And that's Google Gravity. A lot of gravity. Try Google Disappear. And again, hit the lucky button. You can't click. It's actually an image. It's disappeared. Hey, look. My O's disappeared. That's Google disappearing. Hey, I never said these were useful. If we type in Google Goth, G-O-T-H. Oh, I hit the I'm feeling lucky button. I missed it. And there you go, Google. Google's Goth engine. Let's see if it works. Hey, look at there, it still works. If I type in Google Energy Saver and I hit the I'm feeling lucky button, well, look at there, they're saving energy by turning the lights out. Look at all the watts we saved an hour. <laughs> and of course, there's Google Loco. Lucky. <laughs> Here's one, Google my way. I'm feeling lucky. You can see there's a box to put your name here. Let's put our name in. Create. Look at there, Steve's search engine. Does it work? Yes, it does work. I like it. Here's one if you need an alarm clock. Set timer, 10 minutes. Look at there, it actually is running. You can stop or reset. Let's change it to set timer, five seconds. That way I can let you hear the alarm. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. There it is. Here's one. Tip calculator. Look at that. My bill was 60 bucks. Oops. And I'll give 18%. And there was two people eating. I give an extra 540 and there's my total. And the more people that eat, you should give a bigger tip. Yes, this is true, people. How about Sunrise, New York City? 6.30 a.m., there you go. Here's a really useful one. Do a barrel roll do a barrel roll yep it's doing barrel rolls now this one really is useful how about broccoli versus corn the versus is the key word look at there I can figure out which vegetable I want to eat Let's see if it works for other stuff. P 
pizza versus hamburger. Why not? And yes, it does work. Look at that. Got my fat content, calories. So this is a useful one. English to Spanish or whatever to whatever or Spanish to English. So my English is hello translated. Did you know that if you're searching on the internet, you can use the minus sign to exclude words like find a new minus sign, R-E-D, red car, and it will leave out the word red. Now I can't prove this works, but uh, you'll, you can play with it, put a minus sign. Let's see if we get rid of the word car. Yeah, I would say it does work. Look at that. There's no car listings at all in there. And if you want an exact phrase, you know, you want every word that you're searching for, you can use the quote marks. And it won't go outside that, those words. Find a new, find a new car. There you go. Let's find something else to do. If you type in the word define with a colon and then the word it's just like you had a whole set of books. Look at that. That's neat. And for the last and final one, there's a built-in game. Go to images in Google and you want to type in Atari Breakout. Right inside Google Images here. And now, I can play a game. Lagged out on me for a minute there. Uh oh. Can, can I win? I wonder if I can move it with my arrows. Let's see. Yes, I can. Except I dropped my ball because it was. Here we go. I think the mouse is better. I can't go as fast on the keyboard. No, I can't go that fast. Well, there are my Google tricks, and um, if you have any of your own, go ahead and add them to the comments. Let's see how many we can get built up. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.